Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a five-time flash. A five-time flash at the indoor unit actually means the outdoor unit has sensed an overcurrent event. Let's take a look at some of the common reasons for why you would get an overcurrent event. There are typically three causes that lead to an overcurrent event of the outdoor unit. One could be refrigerant charge and or restriction. Two could be a faulty IPM, inverter, or power board. Three, you could have a bad compressor. Let's break these down individually and take a look at how each of them can affect the system. If our compressor is able to operate but shuts down within 10 seconds, the problem typically lies with the board or the compressor. However, if the compressor turns on and runs and stays running anywhere from 10 seconds up to 10 minutes, then our problem typically lies with a refrigerant charge or restriction. Before we can troubleshoot our outdoor board and the compressor, we'll need to disassemble the unit. Once the unit is disassembled, let's take a look at the board and we're going to do what's referred to as a balanced voltage test. The goal of the balanced voltage test is to confirm that we have equal voltage on all three legs going to the compressor. So, the first step we're going to do is power down the outdoor unit. Once power is turned off, we're going to remove the leads going to the compressor. Once the compressor leads are disconnected, we'll turn power back on and we're going to test run the system. Once our unit comes on in test mode, we're going to want to make sure to wait a good two to three minutes for everything to equalize. Once that time is up, we're going to measure AC voltage between all three legs going to the compressor. So after the test was done, I measured 105 volts between all three legs. That right away tells me that my board is outputting the correct and balanced voltage and that my board is good. Now let's take a look what happens when the board checks out okay, but we're still having the overcurrent event. So now that we know our board is okay, it's time to take a look at the compressor. First thing we'll want to do is to own the compressor windings from winding to winding. If that passes and compares to what it should be in the book, we'll want to check the resistance from winding to ground. You should measure infinite resistance, which is indicated on the meter as OL or open load. One thing to keep in mind is that our compressors are a low torque start. If there's a liquid buildup in the compressor, this can cause a serious strain for the compressor to start against. If you believe there's liquid in the compressor, try to heat the compressor with a heat gun for at least 20 to 30 minutes before you condemn it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of tech tips and homeowner help.